to everybody who watches this video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make a working frying pan. So this frying pan will actually cook food. All you have to do is you have to take your raw food, just put it on there, and it'll start cooking your uh, pork chops or whatever food you put in there and sending them up here once they're done cooking. And to add a fuel, you just go over to the burner over here. And you <coughs> take some coal, put it in the chest, and it'll slowly drain. Sorry for that burp. <coughs> I just had an apple. Um, don't put cooked food in there, because <laughs> that will literally break it. And yeah, it's literally that simple. Um, yesterday, I actually made a super cooker, and this is basically just a really cool super cooker. It's not quite as efficient, you may say. <laughs> I mean, it takes a lot more materials, but it literally does the exact same thing as the other super cooker. It cooks food. Um, and it can cook any amount of food you want. And also, it dispenses right here, and if you want it to to make it so it dispenses and it doesn't just go onto the frying pan. You can take a hopper. Um, where's a hopper, 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 hopper? There you go. And just place it down right there. So then it'll shoot up and go into here. Instead of just, boop, see? Instead of just flying over. So let's get on to how to make it. So you're gonna need your stuff for the frying pan, just like design stuff. This isn't too important. Let's just go over here. I'm gonna make a frying pan. Where is a good spot? Perfect. So you're just gonna lay down your base design. I would just make like a little simple square thing. You know, thing on the jigger. Give it a handle. There we got the handle. Now we're just gonna make the wrap around. Nah. doesn't matter too much this is just like you can make it as big or as small as you want just however you want it to look is how you're gonna make it and now what you're gonna do is um, add your egg it doesn't have to be an egg it can literally be anything I just like the egg because it has a center point so it's kind of obvious where you would throw your food which I like to put it on the yolk. I'd recommend having a four by four square because that gives it some space and I just like it like that. I said I like it like that. My last design, I made it very um, symmetrical, the egg, but since eggs, when you're cooking them, they aren't very symmetrical you can just kind of make it flop around as long as you've got a four by four area where you're gonna throw your stuff. So now we're gonna mine down, mine down, mine down. Don't mine at night. <laughs> and you're going to get hopper, a couple hoppers, a mine car with hoppers, and that should be it for now. Oh yeah, rails, gonna need some rails too. So what you're gonna do is place down some hoppers. Um, so make one going in, make one going into that, make one going into that one, and then make one go into that one. So what it should look like from underneath, if you come under, is they should all be leading into this one. So this one goes into this one, which goes into this one, which goes into this one. Now we're gonna build back up. Um, then we're going to place four mine carts with hoppers, make sure there's four. And 
Now if we cover up that, now if we throw anything onto this, it'll disappear. Now if we go underneath, and we come down to the base hopper, it's full of all the stuff. See? Pretty simple, huh? Um, and now we just need to do all the redstone, which there isn't much redstone to this build. It's actually pretty simple, so even people who aren't very experienced can build this one with ease. I'm just going to make an access point right here so you can access it. So what we're going to need to do now is make it go down like that. And then we're going to add a furnace. So it went two down, and now we're going to add a furnace. You can also do smokers and blast furnaces if you need to um, make it specific. Um, another thing you could do is, would that work? I don't think that'd work. I'm just going to do a furnace for now. Uh, you could have like one frying pan, the you could have one frying pan where you put the smokers, and then you could have an another one that's like, um, I don't know, something you cook ores on, <laughs> like a grill. So you could just throw stuff down. I'm just going to be using a plain old furnace. You can add multiple furnaces if you want to make the output a little better. So I'm just going to add three. This will triple your output. And then we're just going to add some hoppers on the back. Make sure they're going into the back of the furnace. Then if we throw some coal in there, um, it should, yep, it goes into there. So we just put coal in there. So now what we need to do is just do it like that. And then, it's getting a little crowded in here. We're going to make the uh, ignition, I guess you could call it. So we're going to take a chest. Doesn't matter what kind of chest, trapped, normal, as long as it's a chest. Then you're going to put a hopper. Chest. Make that go just like that. Make it go across. And then, let me just break this actually. Um, it's always confusing trying to make these. So, I'm actually gonna do, put that back. I don't know why I broke that. Make it go over and then down. There we go. Now the hopper will take the coal and lead it into here. It's getting crowded in here. <laughs> the, the triple makes it a lot harder. Oh yeah, I also need to, he also need to do this. Just make it go across like that, into there. And that will make stuff go down into all these furnaces. This is where the food goes. And we're pretty much done. Now we just need to put, we need to find where we want our exit to be. Let's go somewhere like right here. Yeah, this is a mad fan place for that escape route. Um, we're just gonna go just like this. Let them go around. It's complicated making these things. You go into there. At the end, I'll get like some good shots, so it'll make it a little easier to understand what's happening because it's pretty cluttered in here. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add some blocks. Make it go over here. I'm just going to do it like that. And now we're going to break these two, actually. We don't need those. Um, and make sure that these edge ones are going into the middle one. So it all lead, would lead to this. And now we're going to do this really cool thing. We take a, a drop air. Where's the drop air? Oh, I'm falling over. <laughs> dropper, dropper. Yes, there it's dropper. You can do dispenser too, but I would recommend dropper. Make sure it's facing up. 
And now we're going to make a auto. So how you make an auto? Um, I'm just going to delete all this because we don't need this for now. You're going to need two repeaters. Well, you might need a couple more. Um, some redstone and one comparator. So you put a comparator, a repeater. It's going to clear out this area right here. And then you trail the redstone over. And then another repeater. Actually, have it just be plain redstone. Put a repeater right here just to strengthen the signal just in case. Doesn't make it. Now if we put something in here, it'll set off because it's an auto. It automatically fires once there's something inside of it. Now we got to make the ladder. Now a ladder, I'm just going to make it out of this yellow part so we know not to break it because the ladder is very important and if it's broken during the process, it could mess lots of things up. I'm just going to build the ladder. You just basically what you want to do is make sure every a 3 by 3 oh crap <laughs> a 3 by 3 area around the furnace I mean the dispenser it's clear make sure that nothing could get through this yeah boy okay now that we've done that what we need to do is crouch and just build up um, I'm going to fill this and this. And remember, you can do the hopper. I mean, yeah, the hopper. And you could take right here, place the hopper there. And now, if we do everything according to plan, go over to the igniter. I'm actually going to cover this up. I'd recommend just, like, you know, covering it. <laughs> um, charcoal, doesn't matter, coal, charcoal, anything that burns. Um, we're going to put our charcoal in there our uh, beef on here. Now if we go over to the access, you can watch it all cook. So the beef's made it in. Okay, so I just noticed um, I've actually never built it when, with the three stack. So what's happening is we need to make it so it goes to this one last. So if we shut down the system because don't anything hooky and kooky happening. Um, we're actually going to need to remove all this. Um, so by default, it's going to go to this one first because that's the one that's closest. That means we need the beef. We want the beef to go to this one first because it's going to this one first. So that we means we need to, this one to be the starter. So that's pretty simple to work around. This is more of a creative project because this takes so much iron. Unlike the last one where it was very compact, this one is not compact whatsoever. It's more just like, hey, look how cool this is. It's definitely not the most useful thing, but it's very cool. So we're just going to make this lead around. Um, pretty simple. Uh, you just got to make sure that you crouch place these, make sure they're all leading around this way and then into there. I know it's hard to see, but you just gotta trust me. Okay, <laughs> now it should work. Uh, let's get our beef and stuff out. Um, beef goes on here. Me, charcoal goes in there. Now it should work. And now it works. <laughs> So the, the issue was that the, the f it would go down and the coal would go into this one because it, this was the first one that it went down into, but the meat would start in this one. So it would be opposites. So it didn't work too well. But now that we fixed that, it works just fine. And it's cooking our steak and putting it into this dropper. And we can always do it like that if we'd rather have it just fly everywhere. Yeah. Well, I hope you could understand how messy <laughs> this messy video, because these are super hard to make. Um, I'm just going to run down everything real quick, make sure, um, go into a little more depth 
if you couldn't like see some of the stuff that happened down here later. That's really just what I'm gonna go over. So basically for the coal, we're going to have it come down, go all the way around into here and just make it trail across. You don't need those ones pointing down. You want them to trail across but not go into here. And then that will send them down to the nearest one. So if you put like three stacks, all three of these would be cooking at the same time. Then it just loads into the put thing where it pushes it out. And yeah, um, these, you just have them, four of them, make sure there's four, just kind of shaking around. That's another way you can make like a floor that automatically vacuums. So if someone drops something, <laughs> it's your loot now, which is really cool. It kind of makes a cool noise, but the noise is also kind of annoying. And we already got 10 steak. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it Minecraft educational. And remember, uh, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>